Okay, I'll just start. Hello everyone, this is uh, not David Y. Stevenson. This is also nothing. There may be a little bit of confusion here today, but I am the one who is a girl, so that should set me apart from all other Dota players. Uh, this is the ninth game, I believe, of season five of uh, Wave's oh, King of the Hill competition tournament. One of the two. Uh, and my co-caster here uh, is not also nothing. He is David Y. Stevenson. Hello. Oh, hello. We can talk to him. Uh, and David, would you <laughs> would you like to uh, give us a background so on how this competition works and also what the standings are? So, uh, long story short, um, it's a weekly tournament where every week we play a few different games. Um, Players challenge each other to captain the different teams and then draft the players in the lobby. So teams are different every week, every game. Um, and then the captain gets points they win. And if you if you win a game, you can stay on as captain. Someone challenges you first ten point wins the game. And uh, Truga, who is one of our challengers actually today, is a current leader with twenty six points. Only ten is a win, so he's uh, he's very very strong. If he has one point, uh, the the player that he's captaining against. So. Uh, Definitely, definitely on the leaderboard, but Drew is well ahead. Uh, and I think we have one other person on the board, Meta, with one yeah. point. Um, and in Dota, as in life, beauty is king. Mm. And uh, and true god. And god is the challenger. Mm. Uh, so, uh, they are actually picking some heroes, believe it or not. Coming out on the Radiant, we have Undying. And then on the Dire, we have Viper and Visage. 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 I put a lot of effort into knowing how to pronounce the hero names correctly. And is Visage. <laughs> okay, there was officially my cheese and crackers. I got you chips and shrimp. I was told that you got I didn't eat all of that. I left you that one. <laughs> they did ban dr or capture a drow. Is some other interesting information. Although, who ate the cheese and crackers, I agree, is important. Oh, and the Van Storm Spirit. Praise Jeebus. I am seeing more I wonder if just us complaining about Storm Spirit mm -hmm. has made way players think that Storm Spirit is actually like really good. Yeah. The Drew is an excellent Storm Spirit. Yes, yes. Also glad to see Visage. Yeah. Back is kind of the waves. I don't know if he is a top Visage player, but I would say he's the most common Visage player. Um, um, he's back in the mix, if not being around as much. So that's good, because he's a very fast. Yes. I see a lot of Dazzle. I play a lot of Dazzle, so I feel like I see him all the time. I do play a lot of Dazzle. Um, you have Undying, who I believe was the most banned hero in the qualifiers for the international. So he has finally made it through, and then they immediately lapped him up for the Radiant. He's quite a strong hero, so I around and there is a Pugna, maybe, who will buy a Blink Dagger. I think this is genius. But the, the, I don't disagree, mm -hmm. except, except the fact that this is not a common. A lot of people buy Blink Dagger Okay, yeah. Um, and, let's see, Radiant did ban at the Drow, so there will be no Drow Visage Monster Mash. I think, I think <laughs> Lesh... <laughs> there will be a Monster Mash on the other team. Lesh is definitely, definitely kind of, kind of the biggest meta hero, hero that's been untouched so far. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, he's been banned in the first round. Oh, oh. seconds remaining. Oh, I that. Yep. Um, so fairly so meta bans for at least the first set. Leshrac, Shadow Fiend, Gyrocopter, Queen of Pain, Spirit Breaker. I'm not, I'm not really sure, sure what, what the dire plan is. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Pugna, Pugna, Pugna early push, Viper, early push, Vintage, all the push. I guess that. But it's very hard to push early into the Doomstone. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't, doesn't have a ton of people push, but Healing Wave, or Shadow Wave, or Shadow Wave. Shadow Wave. They never know. Shadow Wave. Shadow Wave. The Shadow Wave is decent to push. Uh huh. And pretty good for those early and early mid game fights, as is Weave. Yeah, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't get this button a bit, personally. Yeah. They really, really locked themselves into a strategy pretty early, early in this draft. I mean, I guess you can be pushing all three lanes separately. I, I guess. With that number of slip pushers. Dottie. They are going for a Phoenix. There are no... There are no reliable stuns so far in the game. And they, they only interrupts are... Dazzles, 
Poison Poison Patch at level 4, four. Mm -hmm. and, and, and basic traits. Mm -hmm. Which it can be Phoenix. tricky to... Th yeah, that, yeah, that is by no means a reliable sub. Phoenix ult is also. Yes, yes. Three. But, but, you but also not reliable because you gotta make it through your supernova without dying. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, but there's still four heroes to be picked, four plenty four of time. It's to... a good thing they queen is from our band because I would definitely just fake it. Right. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried to the dire here. There's a reason Pyro's not really in the meta right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, I'm not seeing anything like a brilliant yeah. synergy coming out from the Radiant, but I, I'm just utterly bewildered by the Dire. And I, yeah. yeah. I don't know, I don't, know. I don't think either Jeff is particularly strong, yeah. other than that Radiant has a dying, and a dying is really wow. good. Wow. Well, well they're committed. Get right credit for that. That's yep. That's, uh, Make the game shorter for us, I guess. Try to get more games in to the, uh... On the other hand, yeah. could go for some really hard late game here to get into more of a like, blood, just uh -huh, uh -huh. kind of fall out of style in the current meta, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's necessarily weak. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, of course, I need to mention that you plop the tombstone in front of the supernova, and then no one wants to go hit the supernova. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like, wow, we cannot, we cannot kill, kill everything. everything. Can't kill the tombstone and the egg, and the egg at all, the same time. The time. Can you grave an egg? It's a building. Okay, the egg okay, is a okay. That's, that's, that's how you should think about Okay. Reserve time. I get to listen to the Pyrian Flax uh, yeah, right. uh, with announcement pack. I don't have Pretty that. Great. Yep. I think you're definitely the winner. Andy, the decent mouse. And a decent graphics card. Do you have a problem with my mouse, David? We have switched computers, and what this means is going to be a lot of hate for Libby's computer. For the record, I'm aware, and I want to get a new one. No need to be unnecessarily hating on this computer. Uh, but we have plenty of time to do that, I suppose, since we're still waiting for that fourth pick from the radio. It is Razor, so... The, yeah, it's interesting. Both, both sides are drafting like a race to the bottom. Like, oh, you want to trade in the air? Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 um... Good. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna see a razor mid. Do people play him safe lane? Like uh, uh, some. Okay. Okay. Do you? So you know more about the players than I do. Is there anyone who you clearly think this player is going with this hero? I mean, Jack Vistage. Pretty, pretty much lost. Lost. Okay. Yep. I would say Grumble is almost certainly going to be playing Viper. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. After that, I'm not really sure. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm still just surprised about the lack of lockdown and the lack of heroes that can still like the lockdown. Uh -huh. It seems like they're not really drafting. I'm not sure about these drafts. Now, Razor's passive, does it have an attack slow? I don't think so, no. Uh, it's just a movement slow. Okay, I was I was wondering if he, he, how he okay. counters Axe. So it's uh, so more of a full check one yeah. from the Dire. It's a pretty decent, decent lineup. lineup. They have some. some they do have some lockdown lock mm -hmm. with the axe and the slurk. Which I would call maybe, maybe semi reliable. Mm -hmm. They're not reliable in lane. And they can, and they be, can dodged, be dodged. But in team fights, fight, they're, they're more reliable. Mm -hmm. um, so now we just have to see if Radiant is going to go. Ha ha! This will give us a five slark, hero early push. But slark against Razor, Razor is not a great matchup. Uh -huh. Slark can just find somebody to bite down and hit him. He has a long fight where he can use his region and his ult and his. His ability and his stack stealing, all that stuff. And Razor is more than happy to hit those type of fights, even the late game. Um, he, you know, he starts as, a, as, a, as an aggressive hero and becomes scaled as a sort of a defensive hero. Mm -hmm. um, so, the so, so Dire draft, I'm, 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 I'm glad they went with someone like Sark at the end. I have to say, I think the Radiant draft is a lot better. Mm -hmm. So, we do have the Wind Ranger. Do you think she's going to go mid or we're going to have the. Uh, the support. You know, I, I, I would say that it's more likely that the Wind Ranger will go mid because okay. the Drew, Drew is playing. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But Drew also tries Viking Ghost, and if Viking Ghost takes the Razor, then I'm basically seeing her making this. So who's our. It's Undying, our offlaner? Probably. So we have a support Phoenix? It, it, it actually probably is off offing Phoenix to support Undying. Okay. But again, but it's a weird. Weird, weird track. Yeah, yeah. And we got. Viper mid, Slark off lane. 
Oh, no. Clark, 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 Clark safe lane, axe off lane. It's support Pugna. Okay. So don't leave it with, and I don't uh -huh. leave it with any combination with the Visage. Uh huh. I mean, I don't. You you can life drain into axe if he does a bad call. That's. You can life drain into axe if you're Pugna. If oh, axe oh. is a bad call, you can cover him. Sure. That's a strat. Axe, okay. also, don't do bad calls. <laughs> also, uh, I don't know. Axe may actually be in the jungle. Okay, okay. But then, but then I'm not sure if the pug is going to off lane. I don't know. I don't, I don't, know. I don't, get, I don't get I don't, get, I don't, get I don't know what these lanes are. Yeah, I don't, yeah, know. I don't know. Let's see. Do I teams? Sure, you go first. Which which first. teams do you want to announce? Alright, All right, I will take the dire. Okay. So on the dire, we have Beauty playing the Slark. Or sorry, BBV playing the Slark. Uh, uh yeah. Jack is going to be playing, playing the visage. 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 He's, 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 visage. he's American. He's not French. Gal, Gal is, uh, is uh, going to be playing axe. the axe. The Pugna. You don't have... You don't have... You, do, you control it with your mouse, David. Embrace it. Ray is going to be playing the Pugna, Pugna and Grimble is going to be playing... Okay. And then over on Team Radiant, Amy is on the Dazzle. Vikingos on the uh, Phoenix. My name is Jeff. Is playing Razor, True God, our challenger on the Wind Ranger and Metamorphosis. Uh, looks like this is going to be an off lane undying. And a safe lane Phoenix, unless it's a support Phoenix. Safe, safe lane Phoenix? Maybe they're going to aggro try. Uh huh. That would actually, that would actually be, a be a decent way, way to do uh -huh. that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll be there right to try a lane for the radio. Okay. Okay. That 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 works. That works. Uh, yeah. It's not, it's no, not real no real lockdown. Uh huh. And Pug, Pug and, and Vince are actually pretty, pretty good at trying out trying sports. But Pug struggles struggle. yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. And he is their late game hero, so let's just right. take that option off the table. Um, Dyer very much committing Ooh, weird, to the top weird, rune. Circling around on the top rune. Yeah. Meaning that uh, Phoenix pretty much guaranteed the bottom rune. Yep. I mean, Big Dyer already cannot fight top rune. No. They know that. They have issues. And they're just going to work out. Great. Great. One by Ray. Good to be able to block the whole game. Yep. Or sorry, that's uh, Amy. We are calling people by whatever names they are currently have listed, so. That's not actually, that's not even secretly right. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it looks like okay, offlane Viper. This, is, this, is, this kind this of works. Agro Tooling Viper Vintage. Uh -huh. Pugna mid, Axe and Jungle, and Slark is solo safe, safe against the Agro Try. This is bad news. Solo he expects to be solo at the against the Phoenix or the Adai. So he's not so going to be happy. Yep. But if, if, they're, if they're happy with this in their game plan, this is kind of mm -hmm. fun. You just hang back. Razor might, might get some harm. But they put a lot of investment in controlling mm -hmm. uh, this top lane, and now it's not going to be off as much. Mm -hmm. I would almost rather they switch the Viper and the Slark here. But this this works. If the Slark has to get leveled to start. Uh, oh, there is a TP going top. Not sure if that was just. Okay, it's but but solo offlane viper. User joined your channel. Yeah, that's fine, but I don't okay, think Visage Slark are going to do that much better than just regular Slark. Uh huh. Uh huh. On the other, the other hand, hand, this Phoenix will still get, get, get back probably by it. Yeah. User disconnected from your channel. Are you introduced? Great. I did. Oh, you did. I, I did. totally I did. I'm trying to figure out how Dota works. Yeah, well, I'm trying to figure out how your Dota works, so maybe we'll need to. I don't know. I think we're gonna have to do something different for the next game. Uh, no, let's be fine. Okay, we we are playing on each other's computers, or which is not. I would not recommend it if you actually want to play. If you are yeah. casting, you could probably I, get away with it. I can't really find your computer. Okay. Anyway, anyway, look at the last hit. I mean, I mean, the radius, the radius is, definitely is definitely winning this lane phase. Um, um, not, not surprisingly, Drew's doing very well, well mid. I think he's a decent in match, a pretty good matchup, and it's no, definitely a more, more, um, more familiar with the, with the mid role than May. Um, 11, 
Right, the three, 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 the ray three, 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 three in there. That's, that's a big flashing, flashing light here. Viking is not doing very well, top and continuing to get free card by 12 and 3. And uh, the Viper's doing well, bottom. 8 and 3 against Mystic is 3 and 0. But not winning, I think, as hard as he should be, or as hard as he would be with uh, the Vistage down there. Mm -hmm. And I, I still would like to see this this year with the Slucker Viper rather than the sort of three on two thing they're doing top. Jack's gonna die up here. Yeah. I just. That dual lane is not isn't gonna do anything yeah. to the set press the tri lane. So, so why not accept that it's happening uh -huh. and adjust one way or the other? Axe is also. Not, not far with fast here at the start. I mean, obviously, X is not the fastest. Mm -hmm. With the mango at the start, and I think that was a big mistake. Uh -huh. That's There's a lot he better ways to do that. Mango, I believe. He definitely could have got tangos. He could have got. I think he. I'm, I'm wondering if he, if he could have gotten his tranquil boots. Uh huh. I think he could have gotten his tranquil boots right now. Uh huh. Which would yeah, be he huge. Could've. I mean, that's massive. And I, and I, why, is why is he buying an anchor for? He's not going to need that, man. <laughs> and Kaiser Pelfrey said it's good, uh -huh. but I think that's a mistake. Yeah, and he is maxing his counter helix as opposed to his call, maybe. Well, let's see. Oh, he's juggling. Yeah, well, so call does increase in mana a little bit. Maybe if he was doing that, then he would. Yeah, maybe. That should be, that should be, that that should be a problem here. Yeah. Okay, well, you're good. good now. Maybe, is, has anyone tried the Axe Jungle Strat of just battle hunger all the creeps? Uh, they haven't. Not okay. Right. That's how yeah. I would play Axe. <laughs> it would be amazing. <laughs> it looks like there's going to be a fight here on top. Yep. We try to do some, Dyer tried to do some fancy footwork wrapping around the back. Not sure why they thought that would work what against an saying? aggro try. And down goes the Visage. Maybe Visage will get the message to go back down and hang out with Viper. Phoenix is forced out of lane. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Viper's doing well. Or even force it, you know, set axe uh -huh. to top to the top to top. Try versus try. Take one, two, one, two, three. Yeah. And then adjust the for it for that. Uh -huh. That's how I think that build is once you see these lanes. But. I mean, it's not like Dyer's out of the game. Mm -hmm. Top and bars are in Radiant, but Viper's close behind. Axe he has got bar. his level 6, which is going to make life not fun for Phoenix. I think it was a good idea to get out of there when, when he did. But it's pretty hard for a Viper to kill Ooh, Dazzle in the jungle, trying to mess with the uh, axe, but may get in trouble from the visage. Not sure which way he wants to run, and Pugna's coming, and this is over. And dying. Deciding to not go help. That was, uh, Let me go into the jungle and mess with the axe. That was, that was some bold play, play I protect zero problems. I don't know. Maybe if he had found him when he had been as low as he was earlier. He he's quite low. He does have the tranquils now, though, so he can just hang out and heal up. Radiance definitely yeah. continuing to increase their farm lead. Mm -hmm. More shenanigans and uh, the entire jungle. They're all coming. Let's try this again. We will we'll smoke this time, is genius. And then we're here already on his way. There is a tombstone. Axe is kind of far away, and there's a TP, and this is not good. I don't really get this plan. Oh, oh no! Get no. the real cover over right here. It's good out here. Nice and job. Now, Excellent dead. rotation for the tree god. So, good use of maybe not the greatest idea. Yeah. They did get a kill. It was definitely it was true bad. Bad. Yeah. You yeah. have. He was uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. still would have so Pugna does have a war down here. I think that's just for vision because I'm pretty I really wish that it doesn't give you the range of the Pugna ward like it does with the mm, vision wards. I, know that. I, I wish. It should. I think it does it in game, doesn't it? It's I don't funny. think so, actually. I feel like it does, but I don't know. But the range is for those who are curious. 
1600. It's a big one. It's a big one. So <laughs> big and matter right now. Mm -hmm. Likely to receive a buff the next week patch. So Ray's just practicing, playing the long game. How would you suggest he be buffed? Oh, fight the retired jungle again. Uh huh. Nope, just a little dance. And uh, Wind Ranger has decided to not go bottle this time, which does. She doesn't need it. She is kind of low on mana right now. Like this slur still has eight left. Uh huh. I'm not saying it's not a fucking slush play. I mean, he's We're trying most of the time. Those words are missed now. But this visit being here has to make Pugna may be in trouble. We have uh, two rotations and an invis. Ranger. Rage? 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 Life drain does. Oh. Nope. That was, that was a good effort by Rage. It was a good effort. I don't think there was any. I don't think he did anything wrong. Um. Except for Wind Ranger was clearly ahead of him in the rune race, I would have backed off. Uh, although he is he is faster than her. Wow, Pugna is fast. I forgot that. Pugna is a fast little dude. Is he? Yeah, they both have boots. Uh, his movement speed is 375 to 345. That's not that's not that crazy. It's faster than it's than it's fast for an unmounted hero. Wind Ranger heroes. By their thematic. What? The mounted heroes tend to move faster. Except Legion Commander, because she's booking it. She's got stuff to do. Places Wait. to be. Oh, I see oh, what you're saying. I think Legion Commander is not. Mounted on her own badassery. <laughs> she's booking it. <laughs> yeah. She's just, unlike all the other heroes, she's actually taking this seriously. I'm pretty sure she's taking this the most seriously of any of the heroes. <laughs> Ooh, Slark. There is a. There is. There is. Nope, abandoning the dive. Axe is coming in, maybe. Nope, he's gonna dance. No one will see me. I, just, I don't know what and the, I don't know what the dyer's doing. Me neither, exactly. quite frankly. Me neither. And they're going to lose their tier one tower. Uh and we also have Phoenix hiding in the trees. Just in case. So The drawing on the map of the axe, or maybe a dying thing that died. He's saying, This is our dungeon. Yeah. I'm possibly saying, Hey, yeah, we found the axe. Speaking of which, that's just a level one, so no stun. Oh. Slark is coming in, but he does not. Fire spirits, too strong. He does have revolt, so. Slark's pretty much gonna need to back out of this. Yeah. Pugna's coming in. Jack's coming in from behind. Oh, solo. He's solo. He does have a haste rune. He got hit with the viper. I think. I think it's over. It is he over. He got hit with the viper. Uh, viper. Uh, viper, to the viper. viper to the face. A full viper to the face. Uh oh, Amy, get out here. Oh. Salving. Gonna have to walk by a tower. A grave. Gonna have to walk by another tower. I don't see yeah. this working. Pretty sure he's dead here. I'm. But, the Phoenix survived. but he didn't. But. Instead, he died. Oh, oh, Razor, uh, not sure what you're doing in between two towers. Uh, I see a lot of razors use the, uh, let's see, plasma field. No, not plasma field. Static link. Uh -huh. It's uh, seeming to not realize that, like, what it does. It's like, no, now you now go attack something. Now that you have all this bonus damage, don't just static link them. Forever. Well, it takes a while to build up bonus Yeah, and like if you're doing it in the middle of the fight, I think you know Viper. Viper is a good hero to use it against since he okay, can whack course, you really hard in the face. His, his aura effects continue to go through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but if you're in a fight, you're just kind of gonna be sitting there. Oh, we have it. Wow, we have the egg. And uh, I learned that tower hitting the Phoenix egg does not matter. And oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It was it was hitting him. But this is a pretty safe fight here. Viper uh, gonna man mode up against four heroes? Well, I think he thought that there yeah. was that, that more support coming, which there was. Mm -hmm. um, and then I don't think there could have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone else is dead. Except for Slark. And they are going to pay for it with another tower. 
Radiant still has all their towers standing. How uh, that tier one mid is below 300. The other two doing fine. Yeah, it's already a 4,000 net worth the for the Radiant. I mean, they, I mean, they had, had a pretty big game down when they, they lost, lost that fight in their entire jungle, mm -hmm. but honestly, honestly, if they don't overextend that far, there's no reason for them to lose these yeah. fights. And, and as it is, Racer can take care of Stark well enough that I think the way Ranger radiates and can outscale. Let's just let's look at so far behind. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to talk me through what you think the optimum initiation would be for the Dire? What? I mean, how can they start a fight? Uh huh. That's definitely their default initiation. Right. Uh, and then into what? I mean, I, I you got, in my mind, if you want to be a team fighting team, you gotta be thinking in terms of three steps. There is a fight. There was a call. Uh, let's see. That's the Wind Ranger shackled a bunch of people, but she's on the other team, so that's not an initiation. So three deaths, Viper and Slark, the amphibians, or the reptiles, will run away back home. And I'm not sure if this is going to be a tower down. Fish not reptiles. What's Slark? He's a fish. Okay, I wasn't sure exactly what he was. So the, the cold-blooded heroes. Uh, True God is zoning out the creeps and at least scaring off the Slark. You have everyone except Pugna back up, going to try to defend this tower, but it may be too late by the time they get there. Does Axe have his blink dagger? No, of course not. So they take the tower. Will they pay for it with their lives? Icarus dive into an egg. Gal getting really low. I don't like this. He falls to the Phoenix egg damage, but now Razor and... Uh... No, Viking is going back in! No, don't go back in! You're all alone! You have no egg. Oh, there is a Dazzle. There is a, uh, let's see, do we have it? I don't think we have Tombstone. We do have Flesh Golem. I totally missed the Pugna ult. But this is, this is quite the fight. Are we going to have yeah. two team wipes? No, but we might have one team wipe. We do. Okay. The fights are really interesting with the Tombstone and the Pugna yeah. right next to each other. And then the Phoenix. Like, man, everybody can make builds. Yeah. Building strat. Building strat. You go, you go Pugna, uh -huh. Phoenix. Uh -huh. I'm dying. I'm dying. I think Phoenix are their units. Yeah. Is yeah. yeah. the Pugna their unit? unit? I don't even know. I don't know, but then you just make them go, which one do we hit? Yeah. yeah. Crap. Yeah, then, yeah, which, which one, one do we hit, hit strategy? Yeah. Pugna, Pugna I'm dying. I'm and Phoenix. Yeah. I mean, if, you're, if you guys are magic based, Go for the Pugna Ward, but right. right. Is this really one? Yeah, I don't know. I will remember that strat. Well, you should well, take a strat because obviously it's not something you're going to do. But the build that we're going to do for the raid, the build that we're going to do for each other, like uh -huh. four. So why not add Pugna Ward? Right. Dyer's bottom tower is under good elemental tower tonight. Somebody did that. Okay, bottom. Vipers can try to go in. He does have support from three other people. Pug he wasn't sure if his mates were following him or not, yeah. and so he didn't, he didn't commit on the razor, which is fair to him. Okay, here's true in the river, just the scouting power shot. Although okay, Dyer okay, is Dyer's smoked up. And then I don't think we're, They pinged out the uh, uh, Undying. I think he's too far away from them to do anything. Razor. Found Ray. Found Ray. He has also found the rest of the Dire team yeah, and, and is going to breaks. walk away. So, so that's the that's that's radiant. It will really just disarm. Meanwhile, Wind Ranger has ulted and she and Dazzle are going on this mid tower. It's down to half health. They might be able to take it before. Oh, they'll definitely take it. Yeah. Axe calls into a. Uh, what's the thing that Pugna does? What's it called? Nether Blast. There we go. And uh, oh, many zombies. lots of zombies. This is not looking so good for no. the Dire. We, they might get a return wipe. Sunray. Viper cannot handle the harsh rays of the sun. Unfortunately, there is a grave. A lot of damage. Sweet, sweet grave, guys. There's, there's just no lockdown after act call. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Really. yeah. And, and there's the two, they can't handle the two, 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 two
And that, that tier two did fall. What kind of makes the Dyer's draft that much more reflective? Right, right. Especially since they first picked on Dying. And now, going to work with just. And it's not like even have the tool. Okay. 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 If you have, if you have to know a dying, mm -hmm. you know, sniper is, is good. Uh huh. Have any tombstone? Is that a spark? Maybe sniper? Well, uh. You got a lot of gap on the radiant. Uh -huh. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud here, just saying. Is it any speed good against the Fiend? That's too bad. It's not going to be a great thing. True God on the Wind Ranger, incredibly farmed. Uh, possibly going to lose that now as he dies to the Culling Blade. Ouch. Uh, does have a Mjolnir and buying an Ogre Club. Uh, do you go? Yeah, you go Ags on, on Wind Ranger because then you get 0% damage reduction. Yeah, there's a very popular build in the Merging Slash is good. Uh -huh. Which is Ags first. And yeah. And then uh, Daedalus. Uh huh. Right click Wind Ranger. Yeah. I think it's probably the best build. Especially when you're going for this earlier strategy. But the true is just the Maelstrom is no more. Oh, good call by Gal. How to bring to the tower. Unfortunately, when you're Phoenix, you can just dive away. They they will probably get this tier one, though. Their first tower of the game. They did deny their tier one bottom mm -hmm. themselves. So they have just the one outer tower standing. Maybe it's still growing, mm -hmm. but. Dyer is, is, is starting, starting to hold him a check a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. Slow yeah. down the growth of it. I'm not gonna call the game. No, 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 no. It's only a 5,000 gold lead for the rating. And the, the gold is kind of on the heroes you want it to be on. Yeah. 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 Slark, Slark is coming back. He does have a shadow lead now. That's, that's, that's a solid item. That's a solid choice. Oh, he also has a wraith band. Do you think that's a casual wraith band? Does anyone else have a quilla? Yeah, I think him. No, Viper. Viper has a quilla. Yeah. Yep. So, casual wraith band. Uh, those creeps killed Dazzle's mom. Well, yeah, so sort of the game, game stopping for a second, slowing down. Bit of desire, I think, just because they're behind, mm -hmm. giving them more time to farm. They're they all kind of grouping up in the jungle, which is not doing wonders for their XP. Yeah, yeah. 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 they have a lot of choices with them. Yeah. So they are going to move bottom uh, onto the Phoenix. That's a lonely Phoenix. Trying to push. Phoenix is going to back up. Probably saw the pug now. Here comes Slark. Gonna grab a Hadrian. That's and scary. That was in trouble. He can't grape himself. Will it be long there. enough? Yeah, I think it's gotten turned on the Slark. He is he going he all smoky. Let's see. Okay. But, but shortly, shortly, yeah, I think you just not to support the fight. This is the funkiest looking Slark. He's got like a spike coming out of his head. I think that's because there's a spike coming out of his head. Viper is still pushing top. It's a healthy TP tower, though. From, from Wind Ranger. Don't get Jack on Grubble. Yep, he walks out. Oh, no, he, he's gonna keep going. He can, take, he can do a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's, that's a good finish for him. Does have... What's his damage? He's hitting for... Uh, let's see. Well over 100. That's how you do math. That's how you met. Well over a hundred. Well, As well, is the Wind Ranger. You know what I really, really would like in uh, amongst all of these different game stats you can look at? I want to know what people's right click damage is. Why well, can't you just look at it? I, I'd, oh, I'd oh, like to really? get like a list. Oh, that yeah. Well, you, I, I, you should just put it for that with health. Whatever. Yeah. Well, I mean, health, health you can see just by looking at them. You, you have to actually click on them in order to see how hard they're hitting for. Is it fight in the jungle? Ward's okay. down, which is going to scare them off. Tombstone is down, though. Yeah. It could be a push here. Phoenix ult is available, so... Yeah, but Tombstone is a lot bigger than I think this is. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I think they should try to push this here, too. I mean, it's not a great time to push this here, too, but... It's not a great time to do anything else either. They don't have a better option, yeah. and they don't have, they don't have a lot. Power is under attack. Ding dong. 
Viper also has the Mjolnir skipping mech, which I think is a good idea. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what, what the... I, I, don't know. I don't know what the actual plan is. Yeah, it seems like everything except the Slark says early push. Well, and the mail show. Yes. I think I'm corrupt. Grumble with my Maelstrom Viper. Okay. So, Tombstone is, Tombstone up. is up now. So, this is where the Diary is. Tiger Ward is down. Afraid. Gonna lose. And this is, and this is what they can do. They can slow siege mm -hmm. with the fuck. Mm -hmm. Although, he does have quite a short range on Nether Blast. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. So, he's kind of putting himself at risk to go cast that. Absolutely. Phoenix is coming around the top here. Yeah, he's going to look to, to go in after the initial fight begins mm -hmm. on the top, which is, which is definitely a good thing for him. Pugna Ward is all done. He can put another one up in two seconds, though. I think the dire... Uh, and here comes Phoenix. Glimmer Cape, and not so committed to that. Gonna back up. See, he is... Yeah. They know the, they, they think they know the Pugna Ward is here. Well, they do not. It's an okay spot. But Maybe a little deeper. I, I might have to do it. With yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think they should have placed, placed it farther back. back. Uh -huh. Maybe here. Or even better would have been down here. Uh huh. Pretty long. Only, only 10 seconds. Okay. Yeah. Or what? Oh, 30 minutes. Still longer. Felt like it's longer. That's fine. Do what for the ward? Another word. Well, it lasts 30 seconds. Oh, oh, oh fuck check. Tower is deniable. Viper all goes down onto a flesh golem. Maybe not the first, not the best one you want. Phoenix Egg is, is just, oh god, destroying everyone. Slark is going to escape. Viper is not. That kind of seems to be the way these fights go. Yeah. And they do hey, not take the tower. As you pointed out, out it's it a dangerous strategy. strategy. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, B, he really has to be careful on those mm -hmm. you know, It's tough, there's several angles in the area, but mm -hmm. he got right in front of yeah. the tree. He was kind of asking for it. She's very dangerous. It's very far. She is. What, what does she have? She's got, she's got her ag, so, uh, and a level 3 focus fire, meaning she can now hit towers as hard as she wants, or as fast as she wants, with no consequence. Uh, Slark, running around, maybe thinking about doing something. You're trying to take out the Razor first and all these things. Uh-huh. He does have the mech. Uh, does not have blade mail. Built Sun Gun Yasha. I'll let me say that. And also, 25 minutes in, and Roche untouched, even though... Big way to drop. Yeah. Well, that new spawn, they have two Siege Creeps, though. Siege Creeps no. win games, guys. Siege Creeps win games. You say that, you say that like, there's, there's some people out there who are like, oh, no, let's not have Siege Creeps. Let's, let's make sure, let's make sure to deny all of our Siege Creeps will die. die. No, well, people go in, and they go in... Grumble Duke didn't do this just now, but... Or maybe he did a little bit. Uh, but they'll go in, and they will hit the other creeps. And I'm like, yeah. guys, the well, siege well, creep is the one hitting your tower. The math is actually complicated uh -huh. here. Because theoretically, you can kill the other types of creeps way faster than you can kill the siege uh -huh. creeps. But if you can kill the other types of creeps very quickly, and, and, uh, which will allow like your creeps to siege creeps, in fact, sometimes you can actually get to kill the siege creeps faster, mm -hmm. and if you just start focusing it yourself. No, but you, overall, you're you cannot, I don't think you can kill it faster, unless it's very early game, in which case, why is there a siege creep on your tower? I'm not sure, I'm not sure about that. that. I, whatever. I think we may have a smoke for Dyer here. here. Yeah. I'm gonna walk no, down I, mid. I don't blame him. They did do something. something. Probably planning to Roche? Why did, why did Axe get that? Like, like of all the heroes. Because he's so warm and cuddly, David. I know, right? I know, right? I mean, like, the, it was not the warm and cuddly heroes that got the pets. It was... Oh, oh they checked Roche, I think, just too early. Unless the true side to check it again. Yeah. Which I don't think he's gonna do. Oh, oh, wow. This could be big for the Dyer. Let's see. Nope. Someone's got the medallion, so... Yep, Roche is down. Let's see if we can get 
a dire hero into the top three of net worth. We what? cannot. I'm sorry, who's at the Aegis there? Slark. Slark. Okay. Uh, Slark also has an Aquila, and so does Razor. Well, again. It's a strat. In case you don't know, Aquilas do not stack. Uh, no Basilius or a stack. Yes. Um, so that's um, Basilius, Aquila, and Vlad's. Uh, although I think Vlad's supersedes. Yes. Aquila yes. should supersede the uh, Basilius mm -hmm. and the Vlad should supersede the Aquila. Yes. Uh, see. Dyer's gonna need to TP top because there is a Phoenix. Very happy to hit the tower. Very happy to eat the Crete wave. Nom nom nom. You have TPs, two TPs, three TPs. And Phoenix going to back up. Throwing just one more fire The rest of Dyer should have backed up and like farmed the jungle. Yeah. For Dyer jungle to walk out rather than having everyone TP. That was not necessary. Especially since it's a Phoenix. You're not gonna. You're not gonna be able to TP in. I mean, I mean, I mean once people start leaving, and you, and you know, we need for us to say that they don't, they don't know there's twelve people, people uh -huh, of the uh -huh, winning game. Uh -huh. so. Well, they do have this ward right here. Um, no, it wouldn't have seen that the Wind Ranger and the Razor were down by the tower. I wonder what Shrew's gonna get next. Post the conventional items would be either Dateless or MKB. Mm -hmm. um, I think this could be a good MKB game considering their lack of lockdown. Mm -hmm. MKB's lockdown is, is pretty small, but it does help you things like interrupt PBs. Yeah. Maybe enough to set up a shackle. Ooh, Meta's gonna. Oh, he does get the tombstone off. This tower, I think, is gonna fall anyway. There's a lot of creeps around here. It's at 81 health. Oh. Oh. Raze is in trouble. Everyone's trying to eat him. Wind Ranger. Is he kill? No. Probably popped the BKB there. I didn't, Not I didn't necessary. see that. I, was necessary. I didn't see. I don't think so. I don't think it was. I do not think it was. I don't 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 think it was. I think Pug needs like that. Necro. Necro. Mm -hmm. Another TP here. The top tower of the tower is... Do Necro units give vision to wards at level 3? Do Necro units give vision to what? wards? Can you see a ward? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. That would be the thing to give vision for wards. Um, and the sponsor is true sight. Of wards. True sight. Okay. Unless you are an altered slark. A shadow, da invisible. shadow dancing slark. He's not he invisible. He is a little common exception. Okay. Not anymore. He used to be. He used to be. Yes. But he's, but no, he's longer no longer invisible. He is not, not invisible. Mm -hmm. no, no. He, he is visible as a cloud of smoke, which yeah, you cannot is. attack. Correct. Alright, right, slark. Who would find this phoenix if he chooses a shadow blade through his own jungle? Mm -hmm. but, oh, he, he does. does. Okay. okay. Again, Phoenix maybe a little uneasy. No, Phoenix not uneasy. Totally taken by surprise. Going to Icarus dive. Oh, oh, did did not cancel die. the the I dive when he needed to. He ulted the dive to begin his TP. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's too tanky. Slark is going for Silver Edge. So he has that change, but that means he's not particularly tanky. Or maybe Silver Edge what? Yeah, he he got he got the Yasha. The Yasha recipe. Could, could, could do both. Does there's anything sack? Question. Um, let's see. Well, who's who's got uh? Does focus fire count as a passive? Does it get disabled by? Oh, oh no. Oh, duh. Duh. The only passive here are razor. Uh, I think that that's, that silver edge would disable. I mean, Sil silver edge also um. Decreases your damage output, which would be good for the Wind Ranger, even if you can't Ooh. end the focus fire. That fire exploded. He does have a uh, uh, magic thing, though. No, sorry, that was a slark. Magic uh, uh, thing from Arcan, you know, what they call that. This fight is really confusing. Yeah, Fighting the words out. Everyone's kind of running around. 
We are going to kill Jack on the visage. Pugna running away, getting chased. Probably not going to be able to run away from the Razor. Razor just standing next to him with his ult on. Life drain, but cannot life drain your way out of four heroes on top of you. No. Or can he? No, he cannot. And now they have a nice, easy tier three with Justice Lark defending it. And Wind Ranger, very low on mana, wouldn't have been able to pull off a focus fire. Uh, so what, 25? That's more than I thought. Wind Ranger is going Daedalus for interested parties. Defensive oh, weave. Oh, oh, Slark. Jumping in. Maybe gonna get the Amy? Or the Dazzle of Amy? The Amy Dazzle. Amy Dazzle runs away, glimmered up. Leaving. Who was that? Undying in to uh, uh, so, distract them. The good news is that Many of the, the Radiance tools, tools here mm -hmm. are going to kind of start falling off. Mm -hmm. Tombstone's starting to fall off. I mean, I mean this is kind of the peak time for the egg and the dire to see that afraid of it. Some of the Razor's tools, tools are going to fall off. The Winter is going to keep being really, really scary. Yeah. But if the Dyer can deal with the, the, the Winter Ranger, mm -hmm. which is a big if, then their main can definitely still not be out of this. It is over a 10k gold leak. Which is, Which a, is lot, a lot, but not insurmountable for 33 minutes in. Dying with Pipe was, was, I think, a good, a good choice. I think, I think Jack should be split pushing more, more with his familiars. This is one of the criticisms that you have of him. He has a good job of using them for vision and stuns and decent fights. Um, but his, his stuns, stuns need to get better and his split push wisdom needs to get better. Mm -hmm. But then again, they don't really have, have a split push lineup just a little yeah. yeah. Although, I don't know, if he, if he had just been pushing down that top tier yeah. 3 tower, yeah. it would be done. Yeah. If, if he had had well, of course, two first tier for one. Just, uh, uh, just resummon them. And you're more, and you're more like, like, willing to be pushing with them, with them yeah. when, you when you have a, another summon available. Yeah. There is a DD here, and it looks like Ray may try to go for Roshan. Although, Although there is no Roshan. I save this DD for the Wind Ranger, and then she will do a lot of damage. Double damage. Okay. They are going to leave the uh, familiars there to scout out. Mm -hmm. Don't think you need both familiars, but uh, whatever. You often keep them together. So that's that. Looks like Radiant's gonna just push Bill here. It's gonna be hard for Dyer to defend, yeah. especially if they don't get back in their base. Familiar is abandoning the Roche, because they're gonna need them for the fight. Yep. yep. I wanna use Wind Ranger on DD, but uh, this Wind Ranger DD, it's gonna run out soon, so. Pugna Ward, which I think they will be able to see if they, if they can get high ground, but that's a big if. It'd be hard for them to finish it all. I guess the Ranger might Yeah. Uh, Focus Fire is available. All the alts on the Radiant are available. And the Radiant just backs off. So good haul from the Dire. Things considered. Dazzle glimmering out just for fun. So we have another Ogre Club on the Wind Ranger. Probably a BKB. Let's see, does Pugna Ward pierce BKB? Yes, it does. How about. So does Berserker's Call. So does Calling Blade. Dumb of. Uh, Viper, Viper, oh, the, the slow, slow passage to make it be. Mm -hmm. uh, Slark wants to kill this castle, but may have been up for the two here. <laughs> yeah. Visage says, sounds like a personal problem, and walks away. Now, where did my grave dancing shoes? We're still on that. The episode. They have uh, now a vision of uh, Dyer's Ward here. Yeah. How do you, maybe Razor's gonna come deward that. Of course, when you deward it, you may kind of give yourself away that now you're going to rush. 
Grammar School will be up any second now. I can tell when Libby adjusts her computer because her camera flies across the screen. I don't know how to use your camera controls. This is funny. Just use WASD. I, I know. Or your mouse. I, well, I, I can click with the mouse. Yes. Oh, yeah, I have it. I can't scroll. Pan with the mouse. Else? Middle? Give me another smoke? Yep. Big, Big wick coming top, though. Yep. Very Wind very Ranger. Very yeah. Uh, Phoenix just slowly plunks down the other team. Wind Ranger does decide to get out of there. She had been slow pushing. And they're going for the Roche. Oh, oh this again. Oh. And this yeah, time yeah, they get. Yeah. Cast. Yep, 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 yep. And possibly deciding, nope, cannot deal. Never mind, maybe. Someone's got vision of the Slark because he got shackled. He will be able to run away. God, he's so fast. Right up on the high ground. Phoenix Egg is available. There it goes. Oh, ouchie, ouchie. Grumble Dude probably can get out of this alive. He's tanky enough. He's built, he's built the eggs. Yeah, he's built the BKB. Good. And now there's a nice tasty Roshan for the Radiant to eat. Can you, um, can you set a thing for Roshan? Yeah. Okay. This doesn't hit that hard. Hmm. It doesn't hit that hard. Not, not this yeah. It's not super early. Morning, is it? Top racks are gonna take damage. Yep. They do have an almost full health tower. Visage was able to send the familiars over. To protect top racks. Bottom, tower is under bottom racks or bottom tower is being focus fired. Fortified. Wind Ranger don't care about tanking it. And that is a dead tower. Viper ult on the Phoenix. He has Glimmer Cape, so might just try to run away, but I don't think he has to. He's got plenty of abilities to throw at folks. Eva's for Phoenix. Eva's for Phoenix. Didn't use it on the Icarus dive, but. What else? And Gal's down due to the bright, harsh light of the sun. We cannot face it. We do finally have a dead Dazzle. No more graves left for you. You killed a Pugno board and we don't care. Someone hit some racks sometime, please. Wait, who has an urn? Phoenix has an urn. Okay. And there go. Both sets of racks. In the and bottom lane. GG G -G happens. Team wipe, lost a lane of racks, very close to losing the other two. Yeah. Sounds about right. So yes. true is our god. Or is our uh, king is our true once again. <laughs> <laughs> you know the words. <laughs> true God is our king. Once again, we will see who challenges him. Will whoever it was this time, Vivva, uh, attempt to uh, Reclaim the name of King. We shall see. We shall see. In the next edition of yeah. King of the Hill. Same bat time, same bat place. What? <laughs> that's, okay. what that's what they announced. Uh, Why don't you, Why don't you turn it? <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Yes, I don't guess. That's, that's what they did for the Batman cartoon. Yes.